This video helps to understand what is hybridization, the case with PCl5. Phosphorus pentachloride molecule is of the type AB5. So according to VSCPR theory, you find that where you have A placed at the center and three bonds are placed at the corners of a triangle and one above and one below. So here you have two bond angles. It is 120 degree and you have one above, one below which is right angle and here you find that the shape predicted is known as trigonal bipyramidal now we shall check what is the hybridization in the molecule pcl5 Phosphorus forms the central atom. Phosphorus has the atomic number 15. So the ground state configuration would look like neon. Then we have 3s2 and 3p3. So according to this configuration, we find that only three unpaired electrons are there. So only three covalent bonds can be formed but we want the formation PCL5 which requires five covalent bonds so for that we have to promote the electron from the 3s which is in the paired condition to the next higher orbital remember off bow rule is used only for the filling up of the different orbitals and here the next higher orbital taken will be again 3d not 4s so you have 3d 1 2 3 4 5 so this is the next higher vacant orbital that is 3d orbitals and so we have to promote the electron from 3s to the next higher orbital which is vacant that is 3d so then the excited state electronic configuration would be neon 3s1 3p3 and it will become 3d1 so on mixing you find that 1s orbital is mixed with 3p orbitals and 1d orbital leading to the hybridization which is named as sp3d hybridization That is 1s orbital mixes with 3p orbitals and 1d orbital leading to 5sp3d hybrid orbitals and the hybridization is known as sp3d hybridization on checking the character of the hybrid orbitals you find that out of the five orbitals that are mixed up only one is s in nature so it is having one fifth s character 3 fifth P character and 1 fifth D character which would lead to the percentage as follows it is 100 by 5 that is 20 percent S character 
300 by 5 that is 60 percent p character and 100 by 5 that is 20 percent b character so you find that if five different orbitals are formed three will be arranged at the corners of a triangle one above and one below leading to two types of bonds three of them are equal in nature so you find that if it is pcl5 phosphorus will be forming the central atom and chlorine will be arranged at an angle of 120 degree each and one chlorine and the fifth chlorine will be arranged above and below at an angle which is perpendicular to the plane of the triangle and this leads to the structure which is known as trigonal bipyramidal it would look like a structure like this it is three chlorine atoms at the corners of a triangle one above and one below we shall now discuss the case with sulfur tetrafluoride what is the formula for sulfur tetrafluoride it is sf6 how many bonds are formed six bonds are formed which is the central atom here it is sulfur now before predicting what will be the hybridization before doing the hybridization we shall check what will be the prediction according to BSEPR theory this is of the type AB6 so six bonds are required so these six bonds are arranged at equal distances in space according to VSEPR theory in order to reduce bond pair bond pair repulsions and here you find that there are four bonds which are arranged at the corners of a square and one above and one below so that will be the structure and this structure we call it as octahedral structure with bond angle 90 degree and we shall see what will be the hybridization here so coming to the central atom we have sulfur as the central atom with atomic number 16 the configuration in the ground state would be neon then we have 3s2 and 3p4 because it belongs to group 16 so now according to the ground state we have only two unpaired electrons two unpaired electrons means only two bonds can be formed but here the molecule is of the type ab6 that means six covalent bonds are required so six covalent bonds are required means six unpaired electrons are to be maintained so for which we have to create six unpaired electrons by promoting the paired electrons from the 3s orbitals and the 3p orbitals to the next higher orbital now the question is which is the next higher orbital it would be 3p and not 4s as predicted by the off bar principle remember that off bar principle is used only for filling up of the orbitals in order to check what is the configuration but the higher orbital which is vacant will will be only 3d so the electron from 3p which is in the paired condition is going to the next higher orbital that is 3d when we have the s electrons promoted to 3d again so the, the excited state becomes neon 3s1 3p3 
थ्री डी टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर प्रेजेंट एंड इट अंडर गोज मिक्सिंग और हाइब्रिडाइजेशन रिजल्टिंग इन वॉट टाइप ऑफ हाइब्रिडाइजेशन इट इज एस पी थ्री डी टू एस पी थ्री डी टू हाइब्रिडाइजेशन टोटल ऑफ सिक्स डिफरेंट हाइब्रिड ऑबिटल्स आर प्रोड्यूस एंड इट इज गॉट बाय मिक्सिंग वन एस ऑर्बिटल थ्री पी ऑर्बिटल्स एंड टू डी ऑर्बिटल्स सो दैट रिजल्ट इन सिक्स एस पी थ्री डी टू हाइब्रिड ऑबिटल्स विच आर हैविंग वन सिक्स एस कैरेक्टर थ्री बाय सिक्स दैट इज हाफ पी कैरेक्टर and 2 by 6 that is 1/3 d character so what is 1/6 of p character it is 16.6 percentage s character 50 percent p character and Thirty three point three percent D character, and it would occupy the corners of a regular octahedral structure. So here we have sulfur at the center, and four different fluorine atoms arranged at the corners of a square, one above and one below. So that leads to what is called the octahedral structure with bond angle 90 degree 90 degree 90 for the equatorial bonds and 90 for the axial bonds hope this video is helpful in understanding what is hybridization so what is meant by hybridization it is the intermixing of orbitals of almost equal energy to get a new set of equivalent orbitals which are having similar size similar shape and energy and these hybrid orbitals are equivalent in every respect and the process of intermixing of orbitals to get orbitals which are equivalent in energy and shape that, that is known as hybridization thank you